Tonight, the Durham Housing Authority Board approved up to $6 million in emergency funding for repairs at McDougal Terrace. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live with concerns those families still have about coming home. Crystal. Yeah, those families are concerned about when they can return home and if their homes will be safe when they get there. And they voiced their concerns both inside and outside of that meeting tonight. No justice! No peace! Just before the Durham Housing Authority's board meeting, dozens lined up in front of their office, calling for an end to evictions. Stop the evictions! Stop the evictions! And better living conditions at public housing complexes in Durham, especially McDougal Terrace. If you can go home and breathe easy, you don't have to live in a hotel. But our families are. And they continue so again, like to let said, their voices be heard inside during public comment. These residents deserve better right now. Where some talked about problems with pests and mold. I have seen these people suffer. And of course, their concerns with high levels of carbon monoxide. And tonight, some families say they still don't feel safe. Just because of everything that has to be discovered and found, I, I just don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable. We're going to replace all stoves that are gas, gas stoves and convert those to electric stoves. The Durham Housing Authority CEO Anthony Scott updated families on the repairs underway. Tonight, the board approved up to $6 million in emergency expenditures for McDougal Terrace families, and they'll be requesting funding from HUD as well. For now, Scott says they are doing everything they can to get these families back home by the second or third week in February. We are working desperately 24 hours a day, pretty much seven days a week, to try to address this issue. And so far, the Durham Housing Authority has spent more than $1 million on relocation costs, and the total cost for repairs is expected to be more than $4 million. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.